What is up everybody, it is Xpilot here, and um, many of you on my old channel have actually requested me to make a, uh, a how to make a Technic Launcher mod pack for the Technic platform, uh, and because uh, my, my video on that channel was really outdated and everything, so I decided I'd make a video, but I'm uploading it to this channel. Um, so yeah, so the mods I'm going to use are my Instant Structures mod and my Hazuzu mod. Um, so yeah, uh, let's get right into it. Let's just close this and go over here. Don't actually need that open. Um, so yeah, so the first thing you want to do is you'll want to create a new folder. And this folder, you can just call it mod pack. So yeah, that's that. That's your mod pack folder. Now you're going to have to create a, well, you're not going to have to, but you should. It would be much better and it does actually make a lot of sense. Um, you'll have to create two folders. One is called bin. Well, you can create three, but I just won't. Uh, you can create three. I'll just create three. Config and mods. So new folder and mods. Um, did I mention this is a Mac tutorial? Um, it also works on PC exactly the same. Um, so yeah, it shouldn't really make a difference. So what you need to do is you want to go and where the hell? Oh, there's my Azusa mod. Um, so you want to go and grab your mods from wherever they are and just copy and paste them into your uh, your mods folder here. So I just grab 1.6 point uh, 1.2.3 Hazuzu and my instant structures mod uh, and I'll drop them there. Now that's all you need from your mods for now. I'm only doing two. You can of course just mod this up as much as you like. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to do that. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go to files.minecraftforge.net and you'll want to download the recommended 1.6.4 or 1.7.2 or whatever um, when it comes out, whenever you're watching this. Uh, you want to download those, um, the, the universal version of whatever Forge is out, and you'll have to wait for five seconds. I'm pretty sure you can spare that time. Um, I'm trying to make this as quick as possible, actually, to rush it. So then you want to download it, hit keep, and uh, yeah, that'll download. You can go over here again, open up your bin file, just wait for this to finish, and unconfirmed. Why is it unconfirmed? I confirmed it. Yes, it is confirmed. So now it's done. Um, you can basically just drag this in here, and you just rename it to mod pack to uh, keep things simple. Um, so now you're basically done with creating your mod pack, um, and since we don't have anything in the config file, we'll just let, uh, let Minecraft when it's run to create this itself. Uh, so I'm just actually going to delete that for now, and yeah. So this is our mod pack, believe it or not. This is the mod pack done. Basically what we need to do now is we, all we need to do is compress the two items, or you would add it to a zip, I believe, on uh, on PC. And I'll just call this one Xpilot um, Greatness, or whatever, and yeah. So now what you want to do is you'll actually want to go, uh, I'm just going to drag this into my desktop to keep things simple. You want to go, uh, you can close that link now, you want to go to your Dropbox and if you don't have a public file, I'm not really sure what to do. I've heard you can do it with uh, Mediafire, but I'm not too good with Mediafire and I know how to do it with Dropbox. You want to go to your Dropbox public folder and you want to upload a file. Um, choose your file, Xpilot's Greatness or your mod pack file, whatever you want to call it and this will do its thing. Uh, so in the meantime, what we can do is we can basically uh, go and create another mod pack. So create a mod pack. I will call this Xpilot's Greatness. Uh, and we will set the version to 1.6.4 and we will type this. This uh, mod pack was made for a tutorial um, and hit agree create mod pack now it should nearly be done uh, if not I'll find something else to do um, so yeah so now you have all of these things um, you have the short description you have change log you have yeah everything so what you want to do is you want to hit edit and you can basically just type whatever you like in here so this one will be the pack description um, so this this mod pack was made for a YouTube tutorial there and change log and permissions and licensing licensing for this 
um, you'll basically need to go to your mod author. In this case, I don't need to because I am the mod author. Um, and you will want to um, ask them for permission to use their mod in your mod pack. So you can do this by simply like going to your mod and commenting below or on their form. Um, and yeah, just basically asking them straight up. Uh, so now that this is done, um, you can go find it. Where is it? It should be down by X there. And you'll want to copy the public link. Yay. Um, and yeah, you just hit Command C uh, or copy to clipboard, whichever one. Um, and now you go up mod pack location and it says location but it's not actually a location uh, so you just hit command v and paste it this is 1.10 uh, and yeah this is basically about it you can upload a pack logo and a background uh, for this I will actually I am not sure uh, let's go to keep it clean um, instant houses and we will upload that and here we will do what happened logo uh, and just hit save mod pack so oh, skype messages so many skype messages so you can actually close this now you don't need it anymore should work uh, so yeah now it's saved uh, it uploads didn't upload this file that's awkward I'll just uh, no, that's too big. Yeah, I'll do X pilot. Oh no, it did upload. Never mind. Never mind. So then you go here to your mod pack description, and you basically just copy this, and you open up your Technic pack now. And this is just a demonstration part. This isn't actually required in your procedure. So yeah, what you do is you open up your Technic launcher and you give in your information or whatever it may be. Um, I'm not sure if I've actually done that already. Yeah, so I have, as you can see, XPilot. Um, so you log in and you hit add new mod pack. I said you hit add new mod pack. And then you basically copy in this URL here into the bar that's here and you do add mod pack. Now I can hit play. And as you can see, the background might load sometime soon. And it'll, it, it'll download the things and it might take a while because it's quite big. Um, so yeah, I'll just skip ahead to when that happens. Okay guys, so um, Minecraft is just starting up. I can actually close that. I don't know why I was there. Um, and as you can see, five mods loaded. Minecraft Forge, mods, you can see my Hazuzu mod, and Xpilot's instance structures. Now let's go to see if it... Wait, what? <laughs> Poof, the wild structure appears. Okay, so this is create a real, real random world. Let's go create a mode so I can just spawn the stuff in real quickly. Um, and let's actually see if it worked. Did it work? Did it work? It should work because I did everything correctly. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yes. 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 It worked. As you can see, it hasn't crashed. Uh, the only reason it may crash uh, with my mods is because it's not the best mods. And they're not the most stable and secure, so I'm just going to change all this stuff real quick. So I have a less laggier experience there. That's good. So now we can check, see if it works. Instant structures, small quarry, and a small house. Um, let's put the small house down. Did it work? Did it work? Yes, it worked. There's our small house. Now let's put a small quarry just below that. Bam, small quarry added, and uh, let's see, Hazuzu tools, everything's here. We have the quarry hammer. Yeah, it's quite a nifty tool. Should really change this to a, uh, set it does a straight line. Like, so, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change this up a bit. But yeah. So that's basically how you make your own mod pack. Um, if you'd like to use my mods, uh, ask, and I will decide I may or may not allow you to. Totally depends on what mood I'm in at the time that you ask me. If my answer is no, first of all, maybe try again another day if I tell you to. Um, but yeah, happy holidays, everybody, and hope you have a nice new year. Happy, Merry Christmas not really sure what to say. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and yeah, have a nice day.